In this video, we'll show you how to process your payment to the ATO for your BAS obligation. Before creating the transaction, you need to take note of the amounts listed against the various category of payments included in your BAS, like net GST, PAYGW, PAYGI, FBT, and other relevant categories. For net GST, deduct the amount at 1A from 1B. If this amount is negative, then you'll need to do a separate transaction to receive a refund from the ATO. For PAYG withheld, use the amount at W2 and charge it against your PAYG liability account. For PAYG instalment, use the amount at T7 and charge it against your business tax account, PAYGI subaccount. For fringe benefits tax, use the amount at F1 and charge it against your FBT account. Finally, for the total amount you owe, look at cell 9. To enter the payment for your BAS, go to Day to Day, Make Payments and click Add. Select the date of the payment. Select the bank account you will be making the payment from. Leave the payable type on Accounts Payable. Select your tax agency supplier, usually the ATO or Australian Taxation Office, or create one if you do not have one. Select your payment method and enter any other details you like, such as a reference. In the Details section at the bottom of the screen, choose the New tab. On the first row in the Account column, select your GST Payable Liability Account. Tab to the Amount column and enter the amount you owe for GST, which you took note of earlier by deducting 1A from 1B. Omit this line if 1B was greater than 1A. Click Add New Row to add any additional payments you owe, such as PAYGW. Select your PAYG Withholding Payable Liability Account and in the Amount column enter the amount you owe, which was at cell W2 on your BAS. Repeat these steps for PAYG instalment and using the value in T7 on the BAS and if paying an FBT instalment, the value in F1 on the BAS. If you have other categories, add them in too. Now check your total amount. It should match the total amount owed on the BAS and cell 9. If you are receiving a refund for GST, then the total will be equal to cell 9 plus the amount of the refund. Click Save and Close. You've now entered your payment for your BAS obligation. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have any questions, please go to reckon.com forward slash support.